Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. It's that time of year where we need to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is the month of October. Yes, that time of year when we celebrate all things green and covered in guns, bad grammar, lots of teeth, and lampooning of many other hobby interests. So... War Games Exclusive has continued throughout the year, not just in Orktober, but all year long, rolled out a vast, varied, characterful assortment of orcs. And I just thought we'd focus on some of those and get to the Orktober bit of it in a moment. But um, as I was saying, just a lot of fun, characterful sculpts. Obviously, this is based on the more recent incarnation of Mad Max at the beginning of the movies there. Something out of the Road Warrior or something. Just fun, characterful models. I think this was supposed to be a tribute to Jack Black. Especially with the little saxophone hanging off and the ukulele mini guitar thing. The jack on the back also helps. I'm loving the beer nozzle. Just fun, goofy models, especially if you want something interesting. Um, and one thing to mention is that War Games exclusive stuff is absolutely meant for the more, well, modeler type of player because every single model that they've released so far tends to be entirely pieced out. There are no individual, single, you know, pre-built figures you got to do it all yourself here some figures as you can see just a couple of pieces head arms body some people <laughs> i've got to keep them all handy this is like their freddie mercury tribute one tend to be well a whole lot more going on there uh, one of the nice things, though, if you're not busy snapping, breaking, and ruining all the pieces, is that everything fits together quite nicely, which is always a plus to be had. Also, they tend to come off the print bed quite easily if you're going to print any of this yourself, but if you're more inclined to let War Games exclusive do it for you, they're more than happy to send out their pieces, and all this stuff is available directly from them as well. Some pieces are a little bit more challenging than others to glue on, but it is what it is. We'll save our Freddy Orkery for another day. Uh, what I wanted to point out, besides the fact that they just have a lot of fun, characterful sculpts, as I said, we've got a whole unit of, tons of units actually, of crow boys and rocket laden orcs and such uh this past orktober they put out what i was surprised to see was the very first larger piece for the orcs um i don't think they even did this in their pure resin days this is a oh no he lost his drill bit yikes there's supposed to be a drill right on the crotch there which was you know wholly appropriate this is supposed to be a gobbo allied um scrap mech, which I thought was kind of a fun touch with the propeller on the back. There have been a few larger piece multi-part kits from War Games exclusive at this point online, um, but the fact that we're starting to see more kind of mechs, dreadnoughts, landmate types is something that bodes well, because what I thought was really fun for this year was rather than just put out a bunch of random orcs, which they did, uh, we got a team of orc hunters. Now these are actually part of their greater good subline of Tau inspired models, but the fact that they're all a bit more feral and wearing assorted trophies, as you can see, I think every single member of the unit, and I think I have the whole squad printed out here, are wearing uh, orc jaws of one type or another as they all carry close combat weapons with them. Ooh. I haven't glued everything completely down to the bases yet, but as you can see, like I said, we've got an assortment of close combat weapons, very ninja-like, and obviously I need to clean up some of the supports there a little bit better, but that's something we can take care of later. I don't think she's wearing any jaws, but she does have some teeth hanging from her necklace in her super ninja pose. 
There you go. You can see he's got heads, he's got teeth, he's got jawbones, the whole shebang stitched together. Cape. Maybe these guys have been hanging around the crew for the cruel too long. I'm not sure. Another trophy taker. A very Naruto-like Kunoichi headband there. They're also a bit more clothed than a lot of the other greater good uh, women, which is, at least to me, a plus. This guy seems to have lost his blade that was there in the process of me bringing him into the room to film. It's kind of annoying. You can see his teeth. There, as he's snarling with his lack of both nose and lips and yet more supports that I thought I got rid of. Obviously I'm going to need to fix up this guy's arm. I can probably find a blade. And then, of course, because we need support, you got a nice little drone here sitting there ready to snipe. Nice thing also about almost all of these models is, as you can see, is I've got just about everybody on a 25mm base. Just about being the key word there because, unfortunately, our friend who is getting into the process of stabbing the dead orc on the head is probably not going to fit on anything smaller than a 40mm base. It's just he's got a lot going on, so you might want to think about some kind of alternative basing arrangement if you want to have everybody kill team legal or whatever your game of choice may be but i thought that was kind of a cool touch something different that we really haven't seen are they orc related yes are they orcs exactly no but that's okay because there's plenty more where they came from shoot i had the commander shepherd inspired one and i don't know where i put him and they even did like a uh mechanical adept Talia to go with it, which I thought was kind of funny. <clears throat> but if you haven't had a chance to check out any of the stuff from War Games Exclusive, as always, we have those links down below. A lot of fun models, and I gotta say, they're one of those ones that on a weekly basis makes the time at work a lot more passable because I always have something to look forward to that was totally unexpected and new with them. I may not get around to painting everything, but then again, I don't get around to printing everything either. At least I've got my hands full for the near future, and hopefully by the time Orktober rolls around again, we'll have some of this stuff painted, and who knows what they're going to have in store for us in the future. My own personal hope is the fact that if we're seeing big, well, technically little, but big mechs like our scrapper here uh, getting ready to be printed in 3D, then hopefully we'll be seeing some mechs as well for the greater good from War Games exclusive. We've seen some tanks and other vehicles at this point, but no actual mechs. And honestly and truly, that's one of the things that I felt they were kind of lacking even when they were doing only resin releases. They're Infantry stuff, spot on. Uh, I really like this scrapper, though, which is why I wanted to point out that I have a lot of high hopes for the time when we do finally get around to getting squads of mechs. And they just put out some new uh, greater good Gaijin models, which were all like humans allied with them. Uh, they had a, what was it, a general or sergeant fire sword. So I'll let you figure that out if you can't on your own but um yeah you can take a look at those with that link down below and hopefully you're going to find some stuff that's going to be as much fun for me to paint as it is for you so with that said then this has been high lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon Bye bye